Hey guys, Mariana Grace in the space. So today is one of my favorite days of the year. It's the day I put up my fall tree. Yay! You guys, I am so excited to put this up. This is one of my favorite things I do every fall. I've been doing this probably now for 25 years. I started off with a little tiny three foot tree, graduated to maybe a four foot tree, and now I'm at an eight foot tree or nine foot, whatever that guy is behind me. I love this tradition because the days can start to get so short and so dark as we head into October. And this guy just provides such a fun, festive glow. And so it's been something that I've been doing for a long time. I've accumulate, accumulated the stems at end of season sales for many years. And so I encourage you, if this is something you might want to do, just watch out for some of the stems to go on sale towards the end of the season and pick some really good deals up. It's a great way to start a fall tree. So I'm gonna start, I have these bushy stems. And actually before I start that, my first thing I do is I add in these sunflower, look at these guys, they're huge. They're almost as tall as I am. I think I got these at Joann's on sale many moons ago, probably, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago. And what I do is I put these kind of in the middle as a topper for the tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. Next are these big bushy, um, nice little bushy stems. Next are these weepy stems. These are something that I picked up the end of season two. I have about 13 of these that I picked up. These were a newer find, but they're super cute. They look kind of like a birch branch, um, kind of weeping down with a birch leaf. Okay guys, so this is my next branch. These are, these I know for sure I got at Joann's. These are probably 25 years old. I got these on sale um, throughout a couple seasons that they had them in the store. And I love them, they're so realistic and I love the different colors. So these I'm just gonna be kind of sticking in wherever I need a few more leaves. Okay, so that's the main part of the body. I am gonna be adding in some of these little sunflower stems, but I'm gonna wait and fill in holes with that at the very end. Now I'm gonna work at the top. So what I'm gonna do first is, I have a few bigger stems. This is kind of a, I just have one. I found this on sale. It was just a single one, but I thought it was kind of cool. So I'm gonna stick in a few single stems at the top, some of my larger ones and then build from there. So these I'm just gonna stick in, just kind of sticking around the top of the tree. These are just some cute little stems with some glitter on them. I Again, these were end of season. They've got kind of a coppery tone. These are some just feather stems. And a few more feather stems. Baked bittersweet. And now these are just some old, super old sunflowers that I'm just gonna fill in some of the holes with. Just kind of stick them around. I kind of like to make it look like the sunflowers are sort of trailing down the tree.
These are some just little teeny tiny sunflowers. So we're done. What do you guys think? I think it looks amazing. It took us maybe not even 30 minutes to put this up. Once you have everything kind of out and planned out, it's pretty easy just to stick everything and get your tree done. This is such a fun project to do every year. I encourage all of you, maybe try a little tree and just see if you like it. I think you'll enjoy the warm, festive colors that it gives your home, the warm, festive glow at night. It just gives you a really warm, homey, cozy feel. I love it towards Thanksgiving. I always leave this up and have it by our Thanksgiving table. It's always festive and everyone always loves to see it from year to year. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I've had a lot of people ask me how I do this um, in the last couple of years. So I thought I would try to do a video. I hope it was helpful. It's hard to do a video showing you how to do a tree. But you guys, thanks so much for watching. And let me know, is this, did this inspire you to do a tree? Leave a comment below and tell me if you're thinking about doing one or have done one in the past. I'd love to hear. You guys, happy fall. Thanks for watching.